Hello everyone, it's Heather and I have a reveal slash review already because I can already tell what my review is. I don't even need more time to carry this bag. It is awesome. Um, so for the reveal, I have the Louis Vuitton Monogram Noe. This is pre-loved. It's in ridiculously good condition. It's from 1998. That patina is beautiful. Like, it's in better condition than I thought it was. Like, looking at the bottom of it, it is... I mean, there's a couple little marks, but this is beautiful. It's just ridiculous. Um, I think this is probably my new favorite bag. It, it just looks really well on someone who's so tall. And I've seen it on some shorter people too, and it's just gorgeous. So uh, this is my new bag. Um, one thing I really like about it, I'll show you how it uh, sits on me. This is on the holes that it has. There's one hole right there, so it's on the second one. So pretty much the longest setting. And you can see, like if I back up, how it sits. It's awesome. It's obviously not too huge for me since I can hold it with my frame, but it's a very big bag, and because it's a vertical standing bag, it holds a lot. Um, and as you all know, I love huge bags. So this is not humongous. It's kind of like a large bag, but confined because it's vertical. So I really, really, really like it. Um, as you can see, it has this uh, leather uh, drawstring sort of thing to tie it together. I have seen people take bandeaus and put them through here and tie it, and then I've seen people take it out. But I like that you can just cinch it together. It is really awesome, and this one being that it's um, from 1998, it's already nice and pliable, and it's just awesome. I love how it slouches. Let me see if I can show you inside of it. If you see, all of my stuff is very well towards the bottom, and there's plenty of room extra. So if I want to throw a scarf in there or anything, it is, it's just got tons of room. I'll show you what I have in here. There's also a D-ring right here on the inside, and since this is the older bag, the newer ones have a zipper with a pocket. This one does not. It's just one open area but I'm used to how their bags are so you know I'm fine with it I also compared to the speedy I think this is easier to find stuff in even though it's bigger because of the way it's constructed I can see everything a little bit better I guess um, so let me just show you what I have in here let me unhook it from the d-ring take a moment Okay, so first thing is my pochette accessoire. You can see that it is pretty full. I keep all of my makeup in here, um, pens, etc., that I don't want all over the place, lipsticks. So that's in there. I have my zippy wallet. I have a rather large uh, sunglass case, a protein bar. <laughs> um, my little clay in the monogram. I keep change in there. I have an iPhone charger, the PM agenda, the mini pochette, which I keep uh, like flash drives and stuff in there. Kind of weird. Um, business card holder, checkbook. Um, I have a piece of paper in there, a couple hair ties, and that's it what I'm carrying right now. But I mean, that's a good amount of stuff, and as you saw, it is, you know, a deep bag, and it leaves plenty of room to throw maybe a shawl, a scarf, maybe a zippy if you're going, say you're going to the movies and you don't really want to downsize and just take your normal purse, you can throw a little zippy hoodie in there. Um, I already know that this is a keeper, definitely, and I'm tempted to get an epi one now. <laughs> but um, if you guys are thinking about getting this bag, I highly recommend it. Not only do I recommend it just because it's beautiful, but it is one of 
the iconic bags. I believe it might be one of the first two handbags, um, being this and the Speedy. I think that Louis Vuitton uh, came out with, aside from their luggage collection, which is what they were originally, um, you know, that's what their original business was. Um, this bag actually was not made to be a purse. It was made to carry five champagne bottles um, when it was originally made in 1932. I love that this has been around since 1932, and I love the history behind Louis Vuitton, which is one of my infatuations with the brand. Um, it's cool just watching, like, old Hollywood movies or just movies in general, but just to see, like, back in the... 50s or whatever, you're watching a movie and you can see a Louis Vuitton in there. I just like the history behind it. So, and the quality, the fact that this bag's from 98 and it's in such good condition, I mean, it shows that these, um, you know, stand up to the brand's quality and craftsmanship, you know. So, that's my review. Uh, if anything changes or if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And I am pretty good about getting back to you guys. So um, I hope you have a great weekend. All right, bye.